Hello people, this is Metab and this is the second part of the tutorial of how to make a website creator in Visual C Sharp. So in this tutorial we will finish all the thing. We'll try to finish, okay? So now double uh, we have to Uh, drag and drop open file dialog and drag and drop save file dialog okay and name the open file dialog to dialog open and the final to website files and the filter to HTML files and write Put a separator and write and an asterisk sign and dot and write HTML another separator and write HTM files another separator and put the asterisk and write HTM and press enter and the title to open site. Now in the save file dialog, write dialog save and copy paste this two and the title to save site. Okay, now double click new website and write doc dot sorry web browser uh, sorry html editor dot text document text equals nothing sorry not that this is uh, this means nothing and double click open website And write HTML. Oh, sorry. Dialog open dot show. Dialog. Now, double click dialog open, and write. Uh, before writing this, we have to import another thing, which is system dot input output. And now write string file name equals dialog open dot file name string content equals file dot read all text and which will be file name and write i html text range range equals doc dot selection dot create range as i html text range and write range dot pass html and uh, html and the text will be the content and write range dot collapse false and range dot select okay now double click save website and write dialog save dot show dialog and double click dialog save and write string content equals html editor dot document text And write file dot write all text or oh, another thing string file name equals dialog save dot file name oh sorry for the parentheses now write 
file dot write all text the path will be the file name and the content will be the content okay now the exit it will be application dot exit now double click cut and write write dot dot exe command the command should be cut and this should be false and this should be null now let's test it and see if this works or not the cuts it works now double click copy and write and just copy this and paste it and change the cut to copy double click paste and this should be paste double click undo and this should be undo double click redo and this should be redo double click select all and this should be select all and we have to add another menu which should be format and this should be bold italic strike through and underline so thank you for watching wait for my next part